Well, good morning everybody. For as much of a good morning as it is, it's almost 10 o'clock on, uh, geez, what day is it? Uh, Wednesday. It is Wednesday morning. I uh, got home late, well, early this morning. I took a four hour nap and now I'm back plowing again. Um, got to work on plowing here at home. So I, I'm just going to do a short, quick video today. We're in the truck and uh, this plow has some really cool features uh, that I just wanted to show you and I'll show you just a little bit of snow plowing. I'm not going to make a big thing out of it. I've already made one plowing video, but I thought this plow was pretty cool. So again, just wanted to show you that. Um, don't mind the mess in my truck. I've been living in it for days practically. So here's the, uh, hang on a second. There. So here's the screen, or the screen. Oh, I'm tired. <laughs> my screen went dark. Here is the controller for the plow. Uh, you can see that says scoop. Of course, we got our raise, lower, left and right, retract, and two wings. So basically, you can put it in scoop mode, which takes both the wings out and turns them 45 degrees uh, forward to, to kind of make like a scoop. You can retract them. Uh, when you hit retract once, it brings them back to the straight position. So your eight foot blade now becomes a 10 foot wide blade. So that's pretty cool, especially doing parking lots. And then, you know, if you want to just put out one wing or the other wing or whatever, you can do them individually. I never do. I usually have them both going. So uh, that that's the controller. Uh, just a, you know, it's a handheld one. I know there's some companies that have wireless ones, but this one works great too. So, um, but uh, yeah. So we're gonna do a little cleanup here. What I usually like to do on big areas like a parking lot or whatever is I'll go through and just make some straight passes, just pushing, and then I'll go back over it. I'll angle the blade a little bit. And then I'll kind of clean up all those little trails uh, that get left behind. Uh, it's just easier that way. If you just angle the blade and keep trying to clean everything as you go. In a deep snow, you end up rolling it so much that you have such a tall windrow after that it gets hard to push. It's just inefficient. So it's easier for me just to make some straight pushes and then clean them up. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. And I hope you enjoy this uh, short video.
All right, well, there you go. There is a short video of this Fisher XLS plow in action. Uh, I'm really happy with the plow for anybody with big parking lots and, I mean, even decent sized driveways and stuff. This is a great choice uh, to use. So I'm tired. I got a bunch more plowing to do. I won't bore you with that. I hope you enjoyed this little video here uh, just showing how this plow works. Leave a comment down below. Hit that thumbs up for me. If you're not subscribed, I'd appreciate it if you click that button. And if you did click the button for, to subscribe, there's a little bell icon there. Just click that and you'll get notifications of our new videos. I usually do two a week depending on uh, what my schedule does here with snow plowing and stuff. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I will catch you guys on the next video.